welcome back to the World of Dinky channel. I hope you're all doing okay and keep it safe. And let's get into today's video, shall we? So in today's video, I want to talk about something that I have recently finished, completed, and I'm going to tell you a little bit of my backstory of in education but not as much as in you know school or colleges but life after colleges so when i left my local sixth form i wanted to do journalism as a career now this was back in 2008 i think or 2009 when i left and my health wasn't like it is now but it was slowly creeping up to where it is today so yeah i when i was at six from i applied to go to university up in carlisle and it, it was an art it was art college art university that did degrees and everything and i had a place there i, I visited a few times uh, <coughs> excuse me I consulted with a lady there who dealt with people with additional needs like me and she was lovely and she really tried her best and she was on my side and unfortunately I could not go through with it we did defer it for a year to see um, if things could improve or you know meaning I could get the support that I really needed but it ended up not happening that way so I ended up not doing it because I didn't have enough support I would only have support in the lessons and that was it when I was at six form I had one-to-one -one lesson one-to-one -one in all my lessons then I had private one-to-one -one sessions so to go from that to not having hardly any in a course that was much more advanced it was just a no-go as, as much as i really wanted to when i was absolutely devastated because i really really wanted to do it but it was not to be so i left it a little while and then i just found that my local college, which is part of the university as well, we're doing open access courses for mature adult students because that's what I was and what I still would be now if I were to go back to college. I was a mature student at sixth form, even though I was, I was 19 when I started. <laughs> Basically, I just wasn't at school either. So it was, it was a lot more leeway for me at sixth form. I didn't have to do lots of it in GCSEs to do A-levels. So yeah, I found criminology. And I'd done an open access course when I was at Lancaster, when I was at Bowman and I had to go to the local Lancaster Morgan College. I did immediate studies course uh, so I knew it wasn't like a full-on heavy course but just something to, because I, I just I wanted to learn more about criminology but not I wasn't looking for university anymore I tried that and the idea is kind of because I was left feeling devastated I didn't really want to put myself through that again so I got called for an interview and he was looking at my, my records of all the, the A-levels and GCSEs that I've already done and he actually said, look, you're actually too advanced to do this course. I was like, okay, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> but how would you feel if I enrolled you onto the combined honours degree course. 
in the majority of the cars will be done here, so you won't have to go anywhere. But later on, you may have to go to Preston like one day a week, if that. I was like, okay. So I sat there and thought about it for a minute or two or three. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. I got in to do a, pretty much a basic course and then end up getting <laughs> put into a, a degree. And this de combined honours degree was criminology, psychology, and sociology. And now I'd done an, a GCSE sociology, and I did start to do an A level in sociology, but sadly I had to drop that course because I was just too it was too much with the other A levels that I was doing, as well as having one to one sessions and then having time off from college because I wasn't quite full time at college, it was just too much physically. So they always made sure that I did like part time hours. So yeah, I was really like surprised and taken aback by what he was saying. And he seemed really nice and eager for me to do this degree. He thought I was more than capable, just like at the Carlisle place. So I said, yes, okay. I'll, I'll do that, that one. I said, okay, well, we'll call you back and let you know f when you, for your induction and we'll give you your timetable then and get you everything set up for you. You know, with like supports and things like that. So I, as nervous as I was and the anticipation of thinking, oh my god, I've got a lot of work <laughs> and I don't think I'd do that with A-levels. My voice just went funny then, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but I was so excited. I was finally getting to do criminology, but do psychology as well. And I already had a bit of background with sociology, so I knew it would it be like a humongous task that I would never be able to do because I think I would have got through it somehow. <laughs> so that summer I prepared myself, got everything ready, mentally prepared myself as well and then September comes and I still hadn't had any word from the college. And I was getting a bit worried. I'm thinking, what's going on? Why has nobody got in touch with me? You know, when do I start? Blah, 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 blah. So I eventually phoned them up and asked, you know, what's going on? When do I start? I haven't heard anything. And they're like, oh, we've, we've decided to drop the course. I was like, oh, okay. That's the first time though. Nobody told me. Very disappointing. I said, oh, we're sorry. Yeah, the, and she was like, oh, there weren't enough people, or people dropped out, so there weren't enough people to carry it on, basically. And so I said, all right, okay then. Thank you, anyway, thank you, anyway. Bye. And, and I actually got really upset. I was so disappointed. I thought I knew there was a reason why I didn't like that college. <laughs> Even though I went one day a week with school, then I did summer college, you know, summer courses, like two weeks where you get paid. It's for school waivers, really, but the the connection, you know, the career advisors managed to get me on it and actually got paid, which I didn't mind. <laughs> it wasn't like a full on heavy course, it was just keeping, you know, youngsters busy for a few weeks and they got paid, it was quite good. But even then, I didn't really feel like when I went to sixth form, you knew all the staff, they all looked out for you. Well, that's how I felt. I felt like they knew who I was and they were there if I needed them. Even a member staff that like, I didn't know very well and I needed help, they would help me. You know, and my needs were put so high, you know, the priority list. Yeah, so I just, I didn't really like the place anywhere. <laughs> But well, it wasn't about that, it was about doing something for me. Something that I was interested in because 
I've always been interested in serial killers and how the mind works within relation to that. Like what makes people capable of such horrific crimes. And just learn more a bit about that. And I've done an A-level in law, criminal law. And I absolutely loved that. And I got to learn about different cases. Certainly not any serial killers. <laughs> but you can't, you can't have everything here. I still enjoyed the course. And I did really well in the classwork that we did. Just the exams, I didn't really do too well. Because you have to remember a lot. <laughs> so yeah, I... No, right, I'm just going to leave it for a while. And then a few years later, I decided to enroll myself on another course, but an online course. So it was a creative writing course. And there was a lot to this. And a lot of the, the modules were very similar. And, and I was struggling to do it on my own. I know my auntie did try and help me with bits of it. And what I did do, bits of work, I did really well. But yeah, I, I just, I kind of stopped doing that after a while. And it was a lot of money. It wasn't meant to be. So fast forward a few years and I keep looking at the college that I was supposed to be coming on as with. They, they were doing like a makeup course for like one day a week. Uh, once a year or twice a year it was. But I'd always missed it. I'd always see after they had the, the day course um, and then when I got to go and meet them the last time it wasn't there and I walked all around and the, there was nothing. I worked at criminology and locally as well nothing again so I waited and waited and then just before lockdown I was typing in on Google online courses for makeup and then this website came up called New Skills Academy and they have 749 total courses, 598,251 students and 4,889 total lessons. Now everything is online. You sign in because you have to register you sign in and all your modules are there you can leave notes on the site you can even ask for help on site everything is there and there are like physical things that you need that you are kind of expected to do but there's no real harm if you don't do them because i do make up as an everyday thing i just kind of watch your videos and just I written down notes. Now the course that I did was the Makeup Artist Diploma. Now this was originally £100 but they had a lot of courses on offer so I got it for £25 and it's for 20 hours so you could do it whenever you want. You could use your phone to, to sign in and get read your modules you know you could just read it but you could also make notes if that helps you which i did so it, it took me all of lockdown and i and i finished just tuesday i think it was i finished i will put it at the bottom of the screen when i did finish it because i can't quite remember right now and i had a little test just to see what i've learned and if you answer so many right correctly then you pass and what you do and you can go back on your modules or just you know you can redo it again and i passed <laughs> and this is the certificate i received it today that might be backwards actually but that's just to say that i successfully completed the makeup artist diploma on the 10th of june so then well, that's when i completed it why did i look at that before <laughs> i do worry about me sometimes like my brain now you don't have to have it printed out but i paid a fee and 
I just, you know, I just think it feels more real when you can hold it in your hand. And I'm not sure whether I'll put it on a wall or somewhere where I can see. I think, yeah, I did that. And you know what? I did it all by myself. For the first time ever, I completed a whole card all by myself. I was able to do it when I want, as, as long as I wanted to. So if I started feeling a bit tired and my intention was going elsewhere, then I could just put it away and start again where I left off next time. Because it, it if you go back to where you were, it kind of bookmarks on where you are and tells you the percentage of what you've done on the course. So like 22%, 45%, 52%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%. 50%. And it's great. Now I am I'm going to do more courses. Now I'm toying between fashion design, personal development. I was thinking of podcasts, but I'm not sure. I've always been interested in doing a podcast, but I don't have the equipment, and I don't know if anyone would, would, would want to listen to me rabbiting on. Would you want to listen to me rabbiting? Would you be interested in hearing me ramble on and on and on? Because I can ramble on and on and on. <laughs> oh, so wheezy. I'm so oh, wheezy. Little secret. I was debating about him, you know, paying for this course. Because, you know, you just don't know how rigid things are. And then I follow Colin Best. He happens to follow me back. I met, I met him a few years ago and he was so lovely, so charming. And we had a good banter. It was, it was just really cool. I really liked meeting him. And my sister had seen his his own certificate on his Instagram account and shared it with me so I could see. I was like, oh yeah. And now it made me think, right, okay. Because he's not going to post something on his Instagram where it's got hundreds of thousands of followers, subscribers, into something that's not legit. So yeah, I just thought, right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do this for me. And I'm a little bit excited. <laughs> I do apologise about my wheeziness. I think I'm talking quite fast today because I'm excited about that. Just because I'm talking a lot. Yeah, so I need to decide what I'm going to do next. And I should have a few weeks off. Because there are a few things that I need to buy. That iPad, laptop, so that I can play my Sims again. Because I miss my Sims so much. But everything is just so expensive. And then you know what? The 10th of June is also the anniversary of when I last saw the Backstreet Boys a year ago so hopefully i'll always remember that now and i've seen that that's my second time in meeting the bachelor boys as well not that i'm bragging but you know it's a big moment for me big thing so welcome to me Yay. you can do anything you put your mind to it as long as you pace yourself and you enjoying it then you can do anything and it's okay if you end up having to give it up that's okay maybe in time you'll find something else that's more suited for you but yeah do check out new skills academy i'll add the link in the description bar below so you can go and check it out and i don't think there's anything else that i need to tell you about the website but i think it, it is a british owned company i think it's a family owned company as well but yeah you know i completed that on the 10th and then it came today so it's amazing very efficient so i am going to go i hope you've enjoyed watching this video if you do please give it a big thumbs up click on the like and don't forget to click on share for other people to be able to see help get the word out there about Word of Dinky, who I am or what I do. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. 
it's free and I do train at Ward every Sunday in the evening it's free <laughs> and don't forget to click on the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads and I'll see you all next time take care and see you soon bye bye